In December 2015, the Nigerian army raided the residence of leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Sheikh Ibrahim Zakzaki. Nigerian troops killed over 300 of the cleric's supporters, including three of his sons, in the northern town of Zaria. Sheikh Zakzaki, who lost one of his eyes during the brutal raid, has ever since been held in custody. Despite a court ruling which ordered his unconditional release in 2016, the government has refused to set him free. Sheikh Zakzaki's deteriorating health condition has been a matter of serious concern for the 64-year-old's sympathizers who never gave up calling for his release. Over the past few years, supporters of the Islamic movement in Nigeria have staged protest rallies over Sheikh Zakzaki's continued detention. On a number of occasions, the peaceful demonstrations have turned violent after security forces attacked the protesters. During the latest rally in the capital, Abuja, police opened fire on the Zakzaki supporters, killing several of them. The Nigerian security forces also arrested scores of demonstrators. Instead of the authorities uh, releasing them or allowing them to exercise the, their freedom of uh, association and of movement, you see that the police are using tear gas and using unruly methods to disperse uh, the protesters. This is not what is expected. The expectation had been that uh, they should have provided them uh, the security and the safety to demonstrate, uh, to go around the town, but not necessarily blocking the rights of others. In 2016, the northwestern state of Kaduna outlawed the movement in a step the government said was necessary to keep public peace. Without any evidence, state authorities accused the movement of unlawful conduct and running a private militia. The movement has been known as a nonviolent Islamic movement for decades, organizing peaceful pro-Palestinian demonstrations on an annual basis across Nigeria for decades. All uh, the uh, Nigerian Islamic movement have announced that despite the violence going to be used against them, they are going to continue non-violent challenge of the system which is in contempt of court. Meanwhile, the government of Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari has forged close ties with Saudi Arabia since it took office in 2015, and the crackdown on the Islamic movement has since intensified. What's noteworthy is that authorities in Saudi Arabia have also been suppressing the country's Shia minority. Last year, the Saudi security forces launched a deadly raid on the Shia town of Awamiya and razed to the ground most parts of it. Although Sheikh Zakzaki has supporters among various religious groups, many of his followers are Shia Muslims. And they're popular because they're trustworthy, they're popular because they're non-violent, they're popular because they're anti-corruption, they're popular because they're not sectarian. And the relationship between them and the Sunni organizations, between them and the Christian organization, they have a chapter. Christian chapter in the Islamic movement. This raises a key question. Is the intensifying crackdown against the Islamic movement in Nigeria linked to Saudi Arabia's attempt at extending its influence in the region? Well, there is an extremely close relationship and uh, we have seen documents from the Saudi embassy urging uh, the Buhari government to take action against the Islamic movement of Nigeria and Sheikh Zakzaki. These are documented and are available. Nigeria's crackdown on a movement which has many supporters could further sow the seeds of divisions in the African country, plagued by Boko Haram's years-long insurgency. Mm -hmm.